Slurcore Polka Dot Devs back on the coos. The open dev call hosted by Alice and Bob. The top question since Gavin released the jam paper. I want to raise this topic of Polka 2.0, but I think it's a very open question. I would start with a broader statement that as in 2.0 is anything that's not in the original white paper. And that does include core time and everything around it, but more as well, like elastic scaling, async backing. I would keep jam and 2.0 separate. But while some pair chain teams have been nervous that jam changes their roadmap deep into the future, it's important to emphasize that Jam will be something that will wrap that. As in, I think it's very, very important to highlight that the first Jam service will be the Parachain service, so which was basically the Polkadot One service. On to present business, a new track in OpenGov. We wish for change track. The current status is there's already a referendum on it. So Giotto put one up like a couple hours ago, so it's already getting used. Giotto's ref is a request for the fellowship to restrict delegated votes from being used on OpenGov's most vulnerable tracks. This wish for change track actually mirrors the root track except for a few key differences. The root track only supports one referendum at a time and most referenda are like actual code that executes to like do a runtime upgrade or like spend money from the treasury or something whereas like these remarks are really just like statements or signals. Quite frustrating like if you actually want to execute some some code but it's like in line behind somebody who wants to make a statement basically. One of the simple statements that previously tied up the root track was a request for an overhauled ambassador program. What's the status? Of Hopefully it'll be in the 1.3 release. I have had some meetings with like existing ambassadors and the actual remark was 90% clear I think about exactly how this should be configured. And voting for the head ambassadors? The proposal said we introduced new OpenGov track which going to be just the same as the fellowship admin track. Why we don't just use the same track? or we just rename it, something like collective admin track. But I see agreement in, in forms of thumbs up here. And anything else for the coming Polkadot 1.3 release? Yeah, well, not, not breaking Polkadot again, but... <laughs> we are enabling a real async beacon for all the system parachains for Kusama and Polkadot running with real six second block times. And of course... No break. I mean, it's the final proposal and it's currently in the preparing state. Waiting for decision deposit, that means once the decision deposit is placed, it's basically on Fast track. Yeah, the good news is the integrations that I have been discussing with other teams for the Polkadot Kusama page will also work for the Snowfork page. So hopefully we get good tooling and good UIs if they want. We'll be rolling out extended clips and others not featured here in the coming weeks. So make sure you're subscribed to the Coos. Polkadot, of course, benefits every day from its ability to upgrade trustlessly and without forks, evolving in response to new technology and user needs. There are other chains, however, that aren't so lucky, and Penance put the broader ecosystem report on Bitcoin. In this week's broader crypto update, the Bitcoin halving has passed, and runes and ordinals have dominated the chain, spiking average fees to a record high level of $128 worth of Bitcoin per transaction. One transaction in particular cost $2.4 million in Bitcoin fees, total Bitcoin fees usurping Ethereum for the last six days. For those who don't understand runes and ordinals, simply said, they are tokens and NFTs on Bitcoin. When it was wasn't meant to support such activities. This is a clear example of how going to where people are is valued more than the best technology for the activity. The question is if sooner or later the pain and frustration of using inappropriate solutions will drive people to infrastructure and tools specifically designed to handle these tasks. We can only hope. Back to you, Jay. Thanks, Penin. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.